Welcome to another edition of Rogue's Gallery, where we count down the best of the worst bad guys based on your votes. This week, we're looking at the crooks and criminals that plague the classic comic strip character, Dick Tracy. And just missing out on the top 10 this week are Itchy Oliver, Flyface, and Lips Manless. Let's start the countdown. Number 10, The Mole. The Mole was abandoned in the sewers as a child and grew up to be a fierce crime boss with a taste for revenge. However, after discovering a community of homeless families had made his warehouse their home, he turned over a new leaf and committed his life to protecting them and making sure they were provided for. Number 9, Zora Arson. Zora Arson first clashed with Dick Tracy after a botched attempt to free her brother Boris from police custody. Later, Boris and Zora hid from the law with Cutie Diamond, but were discovered by Tracy, and both Zora and Cutie were killed by police as they attempted to shoot their way out. Number 8, Little Face. Leonard Littleface Finney was a gangster who managed to evade Tracy by hiding in a meat locker, after giving the detective the run around town. When he was eventually caught and then later released, Finney turned straight based on the kindness shown to him by his adversary and served as an informant for Tracy when needed. Number 7, The Brow. The Brow was a Nazi spy operating in the city, monitoring ship movements and relaying the information back to his handlers. After being discovered, he went on the run, narrowly avoiding Tracy and his allies at every turn, until Justice caught up with him and he fell from a top floor window and was impaled on a flagpole. Number 6, Breathless Mahoney. Breathless was the stepdaughter of a deceased con man and tried to seduce Dick Tracy to get her hands on evidence that would give her access to her stepfather's hidden fortune. Although she did manage to get the money, she was forced to go on the run and was betrayed and left for dead by B.O. Plenty. Then later she was found by police and sent to jail. Number 5, Mumbles. Mumbles was part of a gang of crooks who would perform as a band at high society functions and then rob the patrons of their possessions. One of Tracy's most persistent foes, Mumbles has been thought dead on a number of occasions, but always shows back up where you least expect it. Number 4, The Blank. The Blank was an escaped prisoner who busted out to get revenge on his fellow criminals who betrayed him and left him to rot. As opposed to most Dick Tracy enemies, he was more focused on revenge as opposed to wanton crime and has a lot in common with modern day anti-heroes. Number 3, Big Boy. Big Boy was a crime boss in the city who kidnapped Dick Tracy's girlfriend, Tess Trueheart, and shot and killed her father. He forced Tess to be the getaway driver in a later robbery, but she was rescued by Tracy, who went undercover into Big Boy's gang to free her. Big Boy was finally caught by Tracy and sent to prison after an attempted robbery. From prison, Big Boy kept up his criminal empire through outside agents. He was finally released 18 years later and attempted one last time to get revenge on Dick Tracy, but failed and died of a heart attack as police arrived with an arrest warrant. Number 2, Pruneface. Pruneface was a Nazi agent placed in charge of the creation of a deadly nerve gas to be used on U.S. soil, but was forced on the run when the newspaper printed a picture of his very recognizable visage. His superiors left him to be captured by the police, and although he tried to flee, he was cornered by Tracy and finally arrested. Decades later, Pruneface was awoken from cryonic sleep by a Nazi scientist hoping to drive up support for their cause. He had a tough time adjusting to modern society, but once again worked to bring down America with numerous schemes, but eventually fell to his death shortly after reconnecting with his long-lost daughter, Prunella. And number one, Flattop. Flattop Jones was a contract killer who had one of the longest rap sheets of any of the Dick Tracy criminals. He was a known bank robber, killed federal agents during the Kansas City Massacre, and had no qualms when it came to working with enemy Nazi agents and helping them gather intelligence. Flattop was hired to kill Dick Tracy, but instead kidnapped the detective and held up his clients for more money. Tracy was able to escape in a firefight between crooks and the police, but Flattop was also able to evade justice once again. After a long time on the run and a brief stay in prison, Flattop escaped. But while hiding in the lagoon, he caught his foot on a rusty nail and drowned. Over the years, Dick Tracy has had many run-ins with members of his family, including his brother Blowtop, his son Flattop Jr., and his daughter Angelica. That's it for this week's Rogues Gallery. Keep an eye on Comics Alliance to have your say in the latest polls.